Do you want to give people a little bit of a background about yourself and what yeah. you do? Yeah, I love talking about myself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we met in 2008. Yep. Um, you, uh, it was a few months after you started at the Apollo Group, mm -hmm. and you were on a sales team there, and uh, I had just gotten promoted. A vacancy happened on that team because you guys sucked. Our, the the, the team manager, sucked. Uh, sales manager wasn't very good, so he had, he had been moved out, and they replaced, replaced him with this man right here. Yeah, and then the story begins. So um, it was a great experience. Thank God Jimmy was on the team. He made that uh, uh, very bearable and was absolutely amazing, hence we're still friends to this day. Um, really helped out a lot, though. And the team was a bottom-performing team, and I came in, and there are just a lot of things that I saw were wrong. Thank God I was right. Who knew? You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knew that that was going to work out? But, uh, you know, I made some initial changes right off the bat that helped the team and everybody on it. And then, of course, you know, I trained them in my process. Back then, I called it the 10-minute reg. You remember the 10-minute reg? I, yeah, I do. Just 10 minutes. Let's get her done. And it was a great process. It worked really, really well. Um, and I I'd, I'd used that on my previous team and helped some people that were struggling, and, and that's why they kind of gave me a chance to run the team myself. And but but I'd, I'd say you did a lot more than that. You, you also came on the team and brought a level of fun, brought, changed the culture on the team, which is what, you know, one of the things we're going to talk about yeah. here. Yeah, it's big. And so you changed culture, you changed process, and did some individual coaching. Um, but that's not the end of the story. Uh, you Because of your success there, right, you were recruited yeah. to... Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft. This um, is now Keep. Yeah. Keep. Yeah. That's hard to get used to. Yeah. I, I like the name Infusionsoft better personally, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tend to call it Infusion. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of French that's, there. I don't know if that's true. That's the classy version. Yeah, yeah, the classy right? version of it. But that was a great experience. I mean, yeah. um, going over there back then, I mean, it was a, a software company uh, back in 2009. And um, we just had a lot of fun. I mean, they had a football field in the place. Uh, they, we, we, we ate pizza every Friday. I don't know if when you were there we did that. Yeah. Um, but we used to have half days on Friday. We'd eat, and then, uh, of course, the cereal. Anyway, it was really cool, great culture, uh, but taught me a lot more about, because I was already pretty good with culture. I mean, we turned that team around yeah. really, really well. Um, but right. Infusionsoft was on a totally different level. I, I feel like what the, the culture there and stuff it, at, at Apollo was, what we built was more just that was kind of how we want how you wanted to run run the team these right. are the, the way that you know you want you want things done at work you want to enjoy yourself but there at infusionsoft because of who our clientele was at the time so we mm -hmm. had the the opportunity to have as clients some of the the greatest entrepreneurial leaders in the world yeah i mean yeah. you know people like tony robbins and tony Dan robbins and John and Frank Kern and Dan Kennedy, Dan Kennedy Michael Gerber, yeah. uh, <laughs> the it, list it goes on. Incredible. Rich Sheffrin, uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, and and so because of that, you're able to with each of those, you're able to to also learn from these incredible yeah leaders yeah in, in the entrepreneurial space. So yeah, it was a life changing experience, and uh, so being able to learn not just how to run the culture for a company, but learning from these gurus, I hate using that term, but learning from these people that just, um, most people nowadays, I mean, that's who they learned from, you and, know? And it, it almost validated some things that we had done on accident. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Like, hey, this was an accidental why this stuff <laughs> happened. It, 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 we, we, there was something built or, or a foundation built and you know, it, it expanded upon that, so. Yeah, absolutely. And then when I went off on my own and started working with, uh, you know, a couple larger companies and getting, you know, good success with them, uh, working with a real estate broker in, what was that, 2011? So just after the housing crisis, but, um, you know, stepped in. the bottom of the housing market. Really the bottom of the housing market. And they were dealing a lot with, uh, um, you know, uh, what are they, ROIs? ROEs, that's what they call them, ROEs. So bank-owned properties, foreclosures, you know, dealing with investors and, um, you know, just taking them from two employees to 12 employees within six months, um, all based on just the marketing aspect um, yeah. and, of course, the sales and the culture and everything that goes along with it. I mean, it really, like you said, ties, ties together, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and then you went out and you've, you've had run a few different businesses since then yep. um, and seen some massive success. 
Um, and and now you you have the the uh, desk team 360. There he goes. There we go. And then also <laughs> JeremyKennerson.com, which yeah. is a sales coaching. You're, Correct. You're coaching others on uh, w what you know, and again, what I know is I've seen you turn things around in so many different businesses. I don't think it matters if they, you know, if if. They sell B2B, B2C, right. call their customers, customers, clients, patients, yeah. students, whatever, <laughs> right? Yep. The concepts are the same. The concepts are the same. And you know, I wish I could say when I went off on my own, everything was like sunshine and rainbows, but it isn't because when you go from working for somebody to thinking you know everything and going to do it yourself, you get a, you know, it's a huge, you know, kick in the teeth when you come to realize reality, right? And, and, the, and I think the problem is when I, thought I knew so much to build something, I still did some of the foundational pieces that are so key to growing a business out of order. And, yeah. uh, you know, I've started, you know, I had some businesses that were mildly successful, you know, um, and then I've started probably 16 since then, and probably only six of them have made a penny. So and the entrepreneurial world can be a lonely one. It can be lonely. It can, it can be tough. It's good yeah. when you have good people around like, like you guys. And, um, you know, it's just very easy to say this is the easy path. This is the way to go. Um, but not a lot of people actually share the, the hard parts and, you know, the, the pains that they go through trying to get to where they are, you know? Right, right. Yeah, usually when... <laughs>